all the strategies to crack NEET PG examination on one side and the most important question on each and every NEET PG aspirant's mind. How many questions to attempt in NEET PG examination? We must have tried all permutations and combinations in our grand test and we must have asked so many seniors their golden advice on this very question. So today, we are going to discuss this very query and resolve it once and for all with logical reasoning. This is going to be a very short video guys, so let's begin. So there are three facts to be known. Fact number one, the exam is of 200 questions. Fact number two, the, the marking scheme is plus four minus one. Fact number three, I am telling you that all the toppers of NEET PG attempt more than 190 questions. Now let us understand why do they do it? What's their strategy? See for example you, in your first go of your paper, you attempt 150 out of 200 questions. Now the person who likes to play it safe is going to ask himself, what now? And he's going to say that 150 to attempt kar liya. So 150 into 4 that is 600. So 600 marks out of 800. 600 is a brilliant score. You will easily get a rank between 2500 to 3000 and he'll say that okay, I'm getting a seat of my choice. So I'll leave it there. But you know what? He's overconfident and foolish. He's overconfident. Why? Because he thinks that the 150 questions which he has attempted in the first go, all are going to be right, which usually is not the case. And second, he's foolish because he has not applied any strategy. And now, if he decides to attempt the remaining 50 questions, how many questions would be needed to nullify his score? Nullify is in get a zero. So if he calculate out of 50 questions, 10 questions if he gets right, so 10 into 4 plus 40 and 40 questions if he gets wrong, so minus 40, so plus 40 minus 40. He needs 10 questions out of those 50 questions, that is 1 out of every 5 questions correct to get him a score of 0. And please don't tell me that you can't do that. You have studied 19 subjects. Kuch to relation laga ke itna to mil hi jayega na. And the only point which I want to stress on that any question about 10, that is even if you get 11 questions right out of 50, your score is going to be better than what it was had you attempted only 150 questions out of 200. And that is going to exponentially increase your score as well as your rank. Your rank can improve by 100, you know, and 100 is not a small number. Now, do we blindly solve these questions? No. And this trick, many teachers of us have told us that if the question is totally out of syllabus and if you have absolutely no clue about it, then it's okay if you skip it. We are very lucky that our marking system has plus four minus one. That is, out of every five questions, we only need to get one question correct to nullify our score. Because had the system been plus three minus one or plus one minus one for that matter, our, our whole equation and our whole strategy would have been different and it would, it would have changed. So in the end, the take home message is this itself, that like all the toppers attempt 190 questions and above, you also have to make it a point that you have to try basically to attempt as many questions as possible. And please try to attempt more than 190 questions because only then you'll be able to be in this, you'll be able to apply the strategy to your own benefit. And I have also made a video on tricks to solve MCQs. So you can click on the I and the link is also given in the description below. And guys, you will crack NEET PG examination. I know it. I believe in you. Because koshish karne walon ki kabhi haar nahi hoti. So all the very best guys. Kill it.